Dr. Mukul Sangma, UMLE ke Trinamool Congress, ulo kuno baka jingbam tere ban shim kia bat bateng ye ki sien jam, bagi sorkar berem kila shim, kabu ya ka jala ha ka jing ie, ha ka bae dei baka jing kardu boarding electric ha ka jala. Ha baka range kila bat hai kubor, u Dr. Mukul ulo ong, ka jing ie ka bae dei bat ka nigat tanan, ka long ka bala pau lupa na du ki snem bala dam. Kumta ki sorkar berem kila persyang bat shim, ye ki sien jam ban pendap. Iki ni iki juduna dah kau syam iki kat tu kat ni teli iki senja. Any investor who have enough investable reserve have many other better options elsewhere in the world. So to be able to convince them and make them agree to invest in Meghalaya itself is one of the biggest challenges. Once you do it, then subsequently somebody comes and scare away and drive them away. Who is going to come and invest here? Today we are talking about 2008. Till 2023, how many years have gone? Dismantling is easy. Construction is the toughest job. Therefore, today this is one of the price that we're paying, paying because of politicians who have behaved irresponsibly, and that time, who were there in the government, who was in charge of power, you would be able to know. Nipko has been. Established by government of India, keeping in mind the energy requirement of the northeastern states, and that is one of the entity whose headquarters is here in Shillong. Even their project was terminated. So you scare away all the, you know, investors. They will be all taken into consideration while filing the tariff revision petition before the State Electricity Regulatory Commission. As per Electricity Act 2003, now they will integrate all this extra burden of expenditure. Okay, now say for expenditure, for example, if they are spending extra money for one project, say for Ganol, who will pay for this? The consumers will pay. Please understand, the consumers. It is not the state government who will only pay. It will be passed on to the consumers that when your tariff will increase. So, because of the greed of these few people in authority who are misusing to use this power generation company as a milching cow, the burden is going to be passed on to the consumers. End result is that no industry will thrive. No industry will thrive. You have to compete in the world. The whole globalized world. Please ask the government how many times they have. How many times they have. Engage in escalation in respect of the construction of Ganol Hydro Electric City project. How many times? And they're still, still. I mean, they have, they haven't, they haven't stopped. They haven't stopped. They are still engaging in another revision exercise. The the uh, unpleasant, unhealthy political. Posturing of the parties, the political parties at that point of time. Please remember it in two thousand eight and nine, we were not in the government. But prior to two thousand eight and nine, there were substantial decisions taken towards this very concern of taking care of the huge gap in respect of the demand and supply in power, as far as power is concerned, and the anticipated increase in demand. Which will result in again widening gap between the demand and supply unless we generate our own power. All the rivers, you know, though they are rain fed, but at least during monsoon we do have enough water because this is a beautiful state where we receive the highest rainfall. 